rocking tonight. Coming to the stage. This brother right here, we ran the streets of New York together, and he is here now. Coming to you from New York City. Give it up for my man, Mr. Adam Hunter. Adam Hunter. What's up, people? How's it going? It's nice to be here. I'm married. Anybody married here? Nobody. Awesome. When I met my wife, I told her I was a sex addict, and a year later, I told her that she cured me. Thank you. My wife, the first time, stepped to my place, she threw away all my sheets, and I'm like, why? She's like, I'm not sleeping in the same place you had sex with other women. I'm like, well, you gotta buy me a new car, too. And a dryer. Um, cat tree. I actually found my wife on the worst dating site ever, Ancestry.com. Thank you. I like that guy's laugh. That's the creepiest laugh ever, but I'll fucking take it. Some beautiful ladies here. I love Asian women. I do. That's why I hang out at traffic school. My ex was gaining a lot of weight. You can't tell your girl she's gaining weight, though. But she's like, you think I'm getting fat? I was like, trust your gut. I was gonna invite her to my wedding and then make her, uh, I was gonna invite my ex to my wedding and get married in a podium and have her stand in second place. Thank you, thank you this half of the room. My ex used to love giving head. Some girls don't like giving head. I call those girls single. Thank you, thank you, yes, thank you, thanks. That's, we're all bonded on that one. Um, if you're not laughing, you're single. I've always been a gentleman when it came to receiving head, though. Before I bust, I tap the girl's head to let her know the Uber's here. <laughs> when my ex and I broke up, she's like, you'll never meet a girl that gives better head than I do. And the worst part is that my friends agreed. <laughs> this is the weirdest fucking crowd. Anyway, so... I do love my wife, but I'm tired. I'm, I'm 43 and she's 31. So the songs that I like is the kid she knows from Dance Dance Revolution. And I'm running out of excuses to like not have sex. Like the other day I told her I was on my period. She was like, man up and get a towel. You guys speak English? Okay, listen, so. My wife texted me. She's like, I thought about you today while I use my vibrator. And I'm like, really, why? She's like, stop working. She's like, you never do what I want to do. I'm like, all right, tomorrow night we'll stay home and complain about me. <laughs> My wife said she wanted to put healthier things in her body. I know she meant her trainer. That's the punchline. Okay, so. <laughs> we recently moved, and you can find all the sexual predators in a certain area for you to move there. So we put in our current residence, there was 147 sexual predators in a one block radius. I was like, baby, we gotta leave this church. <laughs> Great, it's the audience for Christ here at the fucking... This is weird doing comedy for Magic Johnson's kid and fucking Benzino and... Fucking some Asian girl who doesn't speak English. Fucking great. Fucking if I'm going down, we're all going down, okay? The fucking no pussy posse in the third row and the fucking boy band that never made it. It's fucking no direction. Fucking two Mexican dudes wearing masks. With the, your nose is still out, you fucking idiot. Okay, so anyway. My wife and I, we have a baby. Uh, it didn't happen on purpose. We had this app that told you when to pull out, and I didn't update it. She told me she's on the pill, and then I realized the pill was a molly. The baby was actually three weeks late, so I was worried the father might be black. <laughs> yes, because black people are late. Listen, fuckers, okay, so... How's it going, sir? That shirt comes in medium, just so you know. I like it. This is like you and you on steroids, fucking next to each other. I gotta be honest. I didn't like having sex with my wife when she was nine months pregnant. I felt like I was getting too close to the kid. and I don't want her first words being me too. 
we have a girl. Initially, I wanted a boy. I want to teach him how to fight. So hopefully when she grows up, she'll be a lesbian. You know, the, the best fighters are lesbians because they make a tight as fist. Thank you. Because they fist each other. Listen, okay, so... Did they hire extras to sit in a fucking crowd tonight? Is that what happened? Yes. Okay, anyway. My wife... Oh, that we're clapping at? Fuck you. Okay, so anyway. My wife is Christian and I'm Jewish and she got our baby a teddy bear that says the Lord's Prayer, so I got her one that complains it's too expensive. <laughs> Toys are different now. Like when I was a kid, He-Man was a cartoon. Now it's a gender pronoun. <laughs> he man All right, you know what? Um... <laughs> But parents, do not buy your kids lots of toys. Make them play with the same toy over and over. It'll get them ready for marriage. <laughs> this guy laughs, looks at his girl, then stops laughing. Thank you very much. Is that your daughter or is there an Amber Alert out for you? What's going on right now? That's your daughter? Thank God. Okay, so. Where did they promote the show? The fucking DMV? What's going on right now? I went to go buy a doll for my kid, an American girl, the most expensive doll ever. Like, if your doll breaks, they'll put it in a wheelchair and a cast, fix it, and then give it back to you. Dolls got better health care than I do. <laughs> and it's legit, because our doll broke, we put it in, they put it in an Oxycontin, and now it's a heroin addict. <laughs> Thank you to you. I love this guy. This guy went to Urban Outfitters and asked for everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you, you fucking... I like you. You're like a black gay fucking forest ranger. Okay, so... He's like, fuck it. I like this dude. You're a good looking guy. It's all good. What are we talking about? I've been spending so much time with my kid. I'm doing things by habit. Like my wife was giving me a blowjob and I started to burp her. We sleep with the crib in the room. It reminds me to pull out. My daughter's birthday came up. My wife said, we should have a party. And I'm like, okay. She said, I need a budget of $5,000. I'm like, what? There has to be a theme. I'm like, it'll be poverty. <laughs> I got invited to a gender reveal party, which is strange. The person was 40. <laughs> Here he is. Okay, so anyway, not you. Okay, listen, I'm saying... So the big issue now is transgenders in high school female sports. Listen, I'm a middle school wrestling coach, right? If somebody's willing to get a sex change to win a medal, that's the kind of commitment I'm looking for in an athlete, all right? <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy what's going on right now with obviously this is not, I got my shot, you know, but some of these like incentives are a little insane. Like in Maine, they're giving you a fishing license if you get a shot. <laughs> yeah, in Seattle, they're giving you marijuana. In Riverside, they're giving you teeth. That's a good one. They're all fucking good, okay? Thank you. <laughs> but now, first they said it was 99% effective, the shot. Then it was 70%. Now they're like, you're, you know what, you're still gonna get it, but you won't die. Pretty soon they're gonna say it's good for one free month on Amazon Prime. <laughs> like, I coach wrestling, and the kids can have wrestling matches, but at the end, they can't shake hands. That's a real thing. It's like, I can teabag you, but I can't text afterwards. <laughs> I've watched so much porn during the pandemic, I flattened the curve to my penis. <laughs> I got an email from Pornhub asking me if I've considered finding Jesus. I was like, what category is he in? <laughs> they said bondage. <laughs> oh, that's offensive. That, not the fucking... No, it's the strange porn. Like, he orgasms and then comes three days later. But they tell everyone, stay healthy. Then they close the gyms to keep the dispensaries and liquor stores open. It's like saying, here's your new life coach, R. Kelly. <laughs> when R. Kelly dies, are they going to say, rest in pee? <laughs> 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 
Joe Biden. Like, the less he spoke, the better he did. His campaign manager was Britney Spears' dad. <laughs> People were comparing Trump to Hitler. That is bullshit. Hitler had a plan. <laughs> I wanted Bernie Sanders to win, but he wanted to make college free, and that would ruin strip clubs. <laughs> because they're paying their... Listen, you know what? This, Kim Kardashian wants to be a criminal defense lawyer, which makes sense. She's gotten tons of black guys off. <laughs> that family is insane. They keep trying to top each other. Kim's like, I'm making a sex tape. And Chloe's like, well, I'm Dane Lamar. Kim's like, well, I'm Danny Kanye. And the father's like, fuck it, I'm a woman. <laughs> like, that's an Olympian move, you know? And people are like, she's a hero, a hero. Superman and Batman were heroes. She's an X-Men. Or a transformer. <laughs> a Decepticon. <laughs> I got my wife a Colin Kaepernick jersey, so she spends more time at her knees. <laughs> you got you got a jersey, is that what you're saying? You got two jerseys? <laughs> Because you're giving, good at giving head? What, is that why you're saying that? All of that. Fuck it. I like... What was that? You're fingering... This is the weirdest fucking show I've ever had. But it's good you're laughing, because I live in L.A. All these homeless people living in tents. I'm like, I gotta cheer these people up, you know? So I went out and got a bear costume. <laughs> to give them the full camping experience, you know? You guys have been great. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. This has been a Funny Media Group production.